In this video, I want to go over how we can stop a leak when we're doing a river charcuterie board pour or other epoxy projects. I first got this information provided to me by Blacktail Studio. He has a course on how to pour river charcuterie tables. And I took that course and found it invaluable. So I've been following him for a long time and I saw this YouTube short that he put out with how to deal with active leaks. And it made things so much easier for me when it came to dealing with leaks. I was teaching an epoxy class shortly after that time of seeing the video. And I had an active leak in a form that I had put together in a hurry. And so I wanted to try out the technique that Cam provided and found that it worked terrific. And I've tried it on a couple other projects since. And it works over and over again. So I wanted to thank Cam for providing it. And I'm sharing that information with you and YouTube who watch this video and my epoxy classes that I put on in the future. In this video, I'll go ahead and start out with Cam's little short excerpt that he put on YouTube. I'll put a link to that in the video description. I also put it on the screen so you can see his original video. And then I will show you how I dealt with an active leak on a form that I was using. In this video, I'll show you how to stop an active epoxy leak in the most extreme condition. I'm going to be using a deep pour epoxy because these are the hardest leaks to stop because they are very thin and they take about 24 hours to set up. I'm also going to add a little bit of purple dye just so you can track the leak. I also decided to use a plastic cup for this experiment because plastic is going to be the most difficult leak to stop because nothing really sticks to this type of plastic, not even epoxy. I drilled an eighth of an inch hole, wiped a little bit off, and spread the magic putty on there, and the leak stopped instantly, despite the fact that it was still actively pouring out of the hole. So the only real question is, what is that magic paste? And I'll tell you in just a second, but I let it set for 30 minutes there. I came back the next day, not a single drop had leaked out. So the only real question is, yes, it is flex paste. So I didn't want to see this, but there it is. I've been monitoring this and wiping it. You can see the epoxy leaking out there. So I do have a leak. So I'm prepared for that. And I've got some flex paste. And let me show you how I'm going to deal with that. Okay. <clears throat> this is flex paste. And this is what I'm going to try to use to stop it. That's what's been recommended. So what you do is you just take a little bit off the top. Don't dig into it because it can create air bubbles. And then you wipe it generously over the cracked area or the leaking area. So we're going to do that here next. So I have this spatula. I'm going to wipe up this area right here one more time. The area where it's leaking. I'm going to take some of this flex paste off the top. And I'm going to shove it into this area trying to be generous with it so now i'm going to watch it here and see what happens the verdict is in and it's awesome it stopped the leak completely this is 24 hours later and the epoxy is hard by now and it's stopped leaking completely what a great find and thank you to cam anderson for turning me on to this